how bad do I want it? I remember when my mom took me and my sister to the dollar store. We went to go buy those push-on circular white lights, you know? Like the ones you see in those ads seen on TV commercials back in the day. You know, we got the off-brand batteries. Man, I thought it was going to be awesome because I'm thinking, you know, we're going to be able to play games at night now. So we get home and mom puts these, these lights in the corner of our small, our small little apartment. And uh, when the sun went down, there were no games. It was just me, my mom, my sister, all curled up on the floor with my mom letting us know that everything was gonna be all right. The electricity, she said, it was gonna be on soon. How bad do I want it? I remember when I told Coach Gus that I knew how to play football. I had just moved from a lower class middle school to one of the best middle schools in a privileged neighborhood. When I showed up to my first practice, Coach laughed because my knee pads weren't on my knees. I had managed to put my knee pad, one of them, on my butt, and the other one was on my crotch. I didn't know anything, but what I did know was how to run fast. And no matter how many times I dropped that ball, they always tossed me another one. Back then, I was, I was skinny like an immigrant from Panama. And somehow that skinny kid was able to sneak into the weight room with one of the toughest guys in school. No matter how bad my form was, I just kept adding on five more pounds, five more pounds. How bad do I want it? I remember when I was a freshman in college. Before my first semester was up, I thought my time was. School wasn't hard. It was terrifying. I felt like I was a black kid going to a school that was 1% black and I wasn't wrong. People looked at me like I was from outer space, man. Why do you cut your hair all the time? Why do you wear that black cap on your head? Is it cool if I say the N-word? They questioned, I answered. Sometimes my responses were so polite that it only invited more. I just wanted to fit in. I didn't want to feel alone in a school that spoke a different language. They didn't understand me. And when I sat down and lecture, I struggled to understand them. My thoughts just kept turning. There's nothing worse than running from depression and having nowhere to run. The only person I could cry to was the last person I wanted to cry to, my mom. How bad do I want it? Glory to God, when I made it to that final fifth year, man, I was ecstatic. Things only elevated. Obstacles, they only escalated. I wanted to finish though, I wanted to keep going, and I wanted to do it my way. Some coaches didn't see my vision. You know, they said, if you truly want to play pro football, you're gonna need to make a sacrifice, son. Focus on training. Maybe take a semester off of school, you know? But that, that wasn't it for me. I needed to engineer a way. I needed to make my dreams come true. I'm going to talk to each teacher, I'm going to talk to each professor, and I'm going to tell them how I'm going to pass all these 17 credits. And I just hope that they help. I hope that they can help me, because if they help me, I can do this. I'll humble myself. I'll show my humility, regardless of how silly my dreams may seem to you. I, I understand that it's crazy that I want to be an engineer and I want to play pro football, but this is what I want to do. This is my dream. And I'll make sure I do whatever it takes. And I'll make sure that I bring snacks and treats to my tutors so that they know I care. And I'll make sure I visit with my teachers so they know that I'm doing everything that I can. And I'll make sure I drive through that 30 minutes of traffic every day, twice a day, just so they know that I'm training for my NFL Regional Combine. And this is my dream. And I will succeed only because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. How bad do I want it? Enjoy the ground.